Hey what's up everyone, in this video we are going to talk about relays, so if you don't know what are relays don't worry, we are going to cover it in this video. So before we get started make sure to smash that subscribe button and the notifications bell and let's get started. So first of all let's talk about this relay. So we have different kind of relays, for example this one is just one relay and we have these four but they work pretty much the same. Let's talk about this one, basically it's an electronically operated switch so we use this one as a switch to turn a lamp that works with a high voltage like 220 volts using this relay. As you can see we have two sides, this side we use it to connect the high voltage devices and this one we use it to control the relay using the Arduino. For example, we have the VCC terminal and the ground one. And this one we use it to control the high voltage device. For example, to turn it on, we can set this to high. And to turn it off, we can set it to low. And on the other side, we have three terminals. The first one is the common terminal. So we need to connect one wire to this terminal. Then we have two uh, different terminals. This one is called the normally closed terminal, which is closed by default. So if we don't apply 5 volts to this uh, leg, the circuit is going to be closed. And if we apply the 5 volts, it's going to open the circuit. But the other terminal is called the normally open, which is open by default. And if we apply 5 volts to this leg, it's going to close the circuit. And the same thing for this module. It has four relays and each one we can control it with one of the legs. You just need to connect the GND leg to the GND of the Arduino and the VCC with the 5 volts. Then we have these four terminals that controls these four relays. For example, this one is labeled input 1, input 2, 3 and 4. To control the relay 1, 2, 3 and 4. So first of all, let's work with this one relay. So we will need this kind of wire, which is male to female so that we can connect the module to the Arduino. So you don't need to work with a high voltage supply for now. We are going to connect it later on so that we can turn on and off a lamp. So let's connect these three wires to the three legs. The middle one is labeled VCC. This one is ground. And this one we are going to use it to control the relay. So the middle one, which is the green, is the VCC. I'm gonna connect it to the VCC of the Arduino. This one is ground. I'm gonna connect it with the GND. And finally we need to connect this one with one of the digital pins so that we can set it high or low. For example, let's connect it to the pin number 3. Then let's go back to the code. So first of all, let's add a new variable. And it's the pin that we are going to control. And let's call it relay pin, which is the pin number 3. Then let's go under the setup function and we use it as an output to set it high or low using the pin mode, the relay pin, and let's pass in output. Then let's change the state of the relay pin to high using digital write, the relay pin, then the high keyword, and let's try to upload this code. But first of all, we need to save it. And you hear that sound, so our module is working. You see this LED which is turned on. That's because we've applied 5 volts to this leg and it's going to close the circuit that is normally open. So these two terminals are connected now. We can turn it off as well by changing the state to low. And let's upload the code. And that's how we use relays. It's very simple and powerful. Now let's use our relay to control this lamp that needs a power supply 220 volts. So I have this lamp that is connected with this cable and I've cut it in the middle. Now we can turn on this lamp by connecting these two wires. But pay attention, we are not going to use our hand to connect these wires. That's very dangerous. Basically we are going to connect these to the relay. 
we're going to connect one side to the common which is in the middle and we are going to connect the other side to the normally open terminal which means that the lamp is off by default and when we set the pin to a high it's going to connect these two terminals so we can switch it on and once you have done that we can plug in this side to the 220 volts so let's plug it and to turn the lamp on let's change this to high then before we upload the code I'm gonna add this paper and let's upload it and there you go our lamp is turned on we can turn it off by changing this to low you could also use the normally closed terminal and the circuit will be closed by default so when we set it to low it's gonna turn the lamp on and that's because our circuit is normally closed we can open the circuit by changing our relay pin state to high and before we finish this video I want to use the previous script that we have created in the previous video so we've used the serial monitor to turn an LED on and off and this is the script so we are going to modify the script to control the lamp instead of the LED and to do that it's very simple we are going to use the same pin but let's change it to relay pin which is the pin number 3 and here we are using the serial monitor to read a string then we are checking if that string is on we set the LED pin which is the relay pin now and when we set it to high it's gonna turn the lamp on and if we receive the message off it's going to turn it off by changing the state of the relay pin and let's upload the code so make sure to check out the previous video and we have a mistake make sure to change this to relay pin as well and let's upload the code again and we have another mistake so make sure to spell it right and let's upload it and yeah everything is okay we can use the serial monitor to open and close the lamp so let's send the on message we've turned the lamp on we can turn it off as well so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon I appreciate that and I will see you in the next one